Okay, so in today's uh, video, we're going to sketch the curve. The curve. Y equals X to the 1 over X. This is great practice, great revision for limits, differentiation, and, and all sort of stuff. So to start off, let's just um, let's have a look at uh, the curve uh, x and y. We're going to deal with uh, x less than zero later. We're also going to deal with what happens around x approaching zero in a bit as well, and we're also going to deal about with what happens as x approaches infinity. But let's just get a rough idea of, of what it is for some of the sim more simple uh, numbers. So let's say when uh, x equals 1, for example, uh, then y is 1 to the power of 1 over 1, which is clearly 1, so that means y is 1. When x equals 2, y is 2 to the power of a half, uh, and 2 to the power of a half is uh, root 2, which is around 1.4142. So when it's 2, it's uh, root 2, y. Um, let's take when x equals 4, for example. 4 will be, uh, y will be 4 to the quarter, which is actually the same as 2 to the half, so that'll be root 2. So that's about there. Um, and then, so we've got a curve which does something along the lines of this. Uh, and like I say, we're going to worry about, uh, about these positions here and x less than 0 later. So it does something roughly like that. So the first thing we want to do is we want to find out, okay, well, well what is the... Um, what is the maximum? So let's uh, start with that. So what we need to do is we need to differentiate um, y equals x to the 1 over x. All right, now it's not quite as uh, easy as it, um, as it seems. We need to rewrite y equals x to the 1 over x as y equals e to the log x times 1 over x. Now, basically, that's just a little trick there because e to the log x is exactly the same thing as x. And if you're not convinced about that, uh, let uh, um, uh, e to the power of log a, for example, equal b. And then if we take logs, uh, log a, log e equals log b. Uh, log e is 1, so therefore log a equals log b, so therefore a equals b. So whenever we have b, we can always put it in the form e to the log b, which is exactly what we've done here. We put x in the form e to the log x. Okay, so now we've got y equals e to the log x, 1 over x. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to differentiate with respect to x, e to the log x times 1 over x. Okay, so we're going to use the chain rule here. So that equals e to the log x over x times, by the chain rule, d dx of log x times 1 over x. Okay, just need a little bit more space here uh, in brackets there. Okay, and now by the, uh, by the product rule, uh, that equals e, oops, sorry, e to the log x over x bracket log x times minus 1 over x squared. We're just doing the product rule here. Uh, add 1 over x dot times 1 over x, which equals, um, now we can actually move this back to our original uh, x to the 1 over x, just to make things easier, uh, x to the 1 over x times by 1 minus log x over x squared, just by manipulating that. Okay, so this that's the differential. Um, so what do we want to do? We want to find out when that equals 0. This equals 0 when 1 minus log x equals 0, i.e. when log x log x equals 1, or well, log x, and we're talking natural logarithms here, log x equals 1 means x equals e. Okay, so we know that we have a, uh, a maximum or minimum critical point at uh, x equals e. Now when x equals e, y, which is uh, uh, x to the 1 over x, equals e to the 1 over e. So we know that the uh, high point is e, e to the 1 over e, which we can put here now if we want to. e, e to the 1 over e. Okay, good. So at least we're getting somewhere. Um, now what we want to do is we want to, um, uh, is we want to look at what happens as x approaches 
zero. So we want to look what's happening, what's going to happen here as, a, as x approaches zero, what happens? And to do that, we need to look at the limit. So this is, that's that out of the way. So now what we want to do is we want to look at the limit as x approaches zero of x to the one over x. And this is great practice with uh, of, of limits um, because obviously if we put in x equals zero here, we get zero to the power of one over zero, which is zero to the infinity, uh, which is indeterminate. Um, but this is not a form where we can use L'Hopital's rule. Remember, uh, L'Hopital's rule, we need the form something like 0 over 0, infinity over infinity, etc. OK, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to, instead of finding the limit of x to the 1 over x, we want to find the limit of the log. So let's find first the limit as x approaches 0 of the log of x to the 1 over x, uh, which, of course, equals uh, the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over x log x um, and now if we look at that um, we have as x approaches 0 this is infinity uh, 1 over 0 and this log of 0 as we as x approaches 0 log of 0 is minus infinity so times minus infinity and infinity times minus infinity is going to be minus infinity I mean you can't really multiply infinity and infinity but it's going to be infinity and it's going to be negative because this is going to get larger and larger positive and this is going to get larger and larger negative and positive times negative is negative so that gives us minus infinity so we know that the limit of the log uh, of x to the 1 over x as x approaches 0 is minus infinity which means that the limit as x approaches 0 of x to the 1 over x is e to the minus infinity which is 0 so we know that as x approaches 0 now, uh, x to the 1 over x is going to approach 0. So again, we can go back to our graph here. And uh, it's, it is getting a little bit messy, but anyway, never mind. We now know that the graph is looking like that. So we now know we've got this as our graph. And that point now we've already worked out is, uh, is e to the 1 over e. And then it comes down here. And now what we want to do is, hang on, what's happening here as x approaches infinity. All right, so let's go and do uh, our second limit. And again, more good practice on limits. Now what we want to do is the limit of x to the 1 over x as x approaches infinity. Uh, again, if we put infinity in, we get infinity to the power of 1 over infinity, which is infinity to the 0, uh, which is not a form, it's indeterminate, and, and it's not a form for L'Hopital. So again, we have to take the limit of the log. So let's, uh, similarly to the, the previous time, so let's limit of, as x approaches infinity of the log of x to the 1 over x, um, which is, oops, I'm a bit more space here. So that is the limit uh, as x approaches infinity of uh, log x over x, which is infinity over infinity, which is a form where we can use L'Hopital. So now we can. Uh, differentiate top and bottom here and that is equivalent the limit will be the limit as x approaches infinity of the differential of this which is 1 over x over 1 and now this is equal to 0 over 1 which is 0 so therefore we know that the limit as x approaches infinity of the log of x to the 1 over x is 0 and therefore the limit as x approaches infinity of x to the 1 over x is equal to e to the 0, which equals 1. So now we can add what happens when it goes to infinity. It, and we really are getting a bit of a mess here. So let's, there's the point 1. As we get to infinity, the curve goes along that asymptote there closer and closer and closer to one so in actual fact i can now draw this thing in in white for the positive uh, x at least is it uh, we know now that uh, as x approaches zero it approaches zero we know it goes through these points we know its maximum is e one over e and then we know as x approaches infinity it goes off towards uh, uh, x uh, sorry y equals one Okay, so that's the positive, and that's the main thing. Then, just a bit of a fun, what we'll, just a little bit of fun. What we'll do is have a look what happens for uh, x less than zero, because it is somewhat bizarre. So let, let's uh, let's have a look. And, and and what I'll do is I'll actually draw the uh, answer, um, because just save it time. So let, let's put our uh, graph up so it's like that. It goes up to e to one over e, and then down here to the asymptote of one. There, there's the, uh, and that point there is e. 1 over e, 
and obviously this is zero, zero. So that's a bit we've already done for uh, y equals x to the one over x. Now, <laughs> for x less than zero, the curve is actually, is, it's a series of discrete points. Basically, if we look at minus one here, uh, the discrete points, it's not continuous, the discrete points go something like that. A series of discrete points where the asymptote again is at one, but also there are a series of discrete points here where it heads towards minus one. Now, all I'll do, um, because it, it, it's quite complicated, um, uh, much too com and not particularly relevant for this video, but what I'll do anyway is I'll just give a couple of points so you can see that actually it does do this. So let's, for example, just take, uh, um, let's, for example, just take x equals minus 1. So when x equals minus 1, uh, we have uh, x to the 1 over x is minus 1 to the power of 1 over minus 1, which is minus 1 to the power of minus 1, which equals 1 over minus 1, which is minus 1. So for minus 1, minus 1, um, we have the point here. So I've actually drawn this a little bit wrong. Uh, so in actual fact, I have to redraw that like that. Let's just uh, use the rubber to get rid of that. OK, so sorry about that. OK, um, so let's take another point. Uh, let's take, for example, uh, the, now to just show that it's not continuous, let's take the, po the point uh, x equals minus 2. For x equals minus 2, x to the 1 over x equals minus 2 to the power of 1 over minus 2. Um, and minus 2 to the power of 1 over minus 2 is minus 2 uh, to, the, uh, to the minus a half, which equals 1 over root of minus 2 and that um, has no solution or no real solution we have to invoke complex numbers to get that so minus 2 there is no um, uh, for x equals minus 2 here there is no value um, of this function um, what about for example just give a couple more examples if x equals minus 3 then y equals minus 3 to the power of minus a third which is minus 1 over the cube root of 3. Um, 